Bonjour, aujourd'hui c'est le vendredi 8 mai. Uh, I wanted to start off with just a discussion of the discussion posts. First the French one and then the English one. And then I'll go into kind of talk to you a little bit about the reading for this week. Donc, euh, en français, la discussion c'était « Dans cette lecture, le narrateur rencontre le petit prince pour la première fois. Où se trouve le narrateur Quel âge a-t-il » Et puis, euh, « Ce petit prince est exceptionnel. Comment »« Qu'est-ce qu'il fait Qu'est-ce qu'il dit qui le rend exceptionnel hein? ?» Et il y avait plusieurs bonnes réponses. Euh, vous l'avez très bien saisi, donc bravo hein? Donc, le narrateur voit le petit prince au milieu du désert. Oui, c'est le désert du Sahara. Hein? Donc, euh, il y avait une panne d'avion. Donc, le narrateur euh, est tombé en panne, hein, son avion. Euh, le narrateur, euh, j'ai pensé que le narrateur était un garçon, mais maintenant, je pense que c'est un homme. Oui, hein, c'est un homme. Hein? C'est un homme adulte. Il a... Peut-être, ouais, 50 ou 60 ans, je ne sais pas, il a, il a probablement moins, peut-être, je ne sais pas, 30 ou 40 ans, je, je ne sais pas, ce n'est pas clair. Mais en tout cas, oui, c'est un adulte, ok? Et le petit prince est exceptionnel parce qu'il euh, n'est pas fatigué, il n'a pas soif, euh, il n'a pas faim, euh, etc. Il n'a pas faim, il n'a pas peur. Hein? Donc, euh, le petit prince est dans le Sahara, tout seul, et effectivement, il, il a l'air très bien, hein? comme si ne rien n'était. Hein? Donc, euh, voilà. Okay. Et puis, euh, c'était, euh, il n'y a personne à mille milles, hein? Donc, etc. Ok, c'est parfait. Ok, okay so then let's move on to the English discussion where I asked, you know, uh, what vocabulary you looked up, which helped you understand the reading, sentences that didn't seem to make sense, etc. etc. And then also I asked, you know, how is the style different? from some text you've read in the past. You get a sense of the style and voice of the text now. How is it different from or similar to other texts? And one person um, said, uh, you know, there are a few vocabulary words like foudre, which is lightning, uh, as if they're struck with lightning. Um, the narrator says something to the effect of I put myself within reach. Right, so je me, je me mettais à sa portée. Uh, so I put myself within reach. I met the adults halfway um, in terms of, okay, well, the adults weren't ready to talk about boa constrictors and special forests and stuff. So I decided to talk to them about golf and bridge and reasonable things. Um, this person said they, they haven't read Roald Dahl recently, but they feel like the style is very similar to Roald Dahl, or the way Dr. Seuss writes, um, where they're talking to the child, reader, but putting in big words to make you feel kind of fancy and grown up. So I think this is really important, and a couple other people mentioned this too. Um, I'll come back to this one, but uh, there's similarities to Roald Dahl. Uh, where it's fantasy driven, but in, there are important messages behind them. So it's not just like a, a children's picture book uh, where it's just simple and kind of superficial, but there's um, a pretty sophisticated narrative behind it. And it's kind of hiding behind uh, the surface level, which is a lot simpler and almost kind of naive, right? Um, this person mentioned, uh, it feels like there are two different voices speaking. One is the narrator or the author, and I'm not sure who the second voice is yet. Um, I'd love to hear more from this person about uh, what the different voices are, or kind of where they're getting those voices, or how they would describe those voices. Um, the narrator has been 
giving us a lot of information about his experience, and pretty soon he'll be telling the story of the little prince. Um, and so we'll get less and less of the narrator and more and more of just what the little prince did and when and how. Um, but hopefully it's not too disorienting. So if you're feeling this way, let me know, because huh? I want to try to help you make meaning of it. Um, this, yeah, I, I really appreciate that this person mentioned that it was kind of like a test. This is something that we, I kind of had a, a comment discussion in the class kick uh, where, yeah, the narrator shows the drawing and if, if the adult says, well, it's a hat, then the narrator knows, okay, uh, cool. They're not ready to talk about boa constrictors. I've got to kind of keep it simple for them and talk about bridge and golf. Um, it'll tie into the story. You'll see. There were tricky words. The writing is different. Yeah. Um, I wanted to quickly look at the reading and go over a couple things real quick. Um, there's a lot of passé simple, uh, and I just really wanted to kind of repeat myself in saying, don't let the passé simple throw you for a loop. Right, it can be uh, confusing, um, but pretty soon you'll be able to pick it up and kind of recognize it, and it won't be as much of a, a stumble, uh, hopefully. Right. Um, let's see. And this is really interesting. A few of you remarked on this too, where the little princess asked him to draw a sheep. And why he wants a sheep will become important later. He talks about, he explains why he was looking for a sheep. Um, and so, you know, the sheep is wrong. Like, oh no, that's not the kind of sheep I want. That's not the kind of sheep I want. That's not the kind of sheep I want. And then finally, the narrator draws a box with holes in it so that the sheep can breathe, right? Uh, and it works, right? The little prince is happy. Um, and this is kind of like a, a, a charming, kind of simple, tricky device. You might think of it as kind of like a trick, maybe. Um, but this will actually come up later. Uh, keep, this, keep this in mind. Uh, this idea of um, the little prince isn't interested in... He has a very specific idea of what kind of sheep, sheep he needs. But then, you know, uh, really the best sheep is the one that is in a box or something uh, and we can kind of imagine what the sheep is actually like. So for um, next week, for next Tuesday, please do this reading. Uh, it's here and then I've also included a link on Canvas, uh, reading four. And I'll go ahead and post my reading of it. Uh, so I'll read it aloud to y'all. Uh, it's chapter three. And it's really great because uh, you're going to start hearing more about the little prince himself uh, and get a better idea for who he is um, and what makes him so unique. Uh, and so go ahead and read that. And then I, I, I encourage you to read this just start of chapter four. I think it might be kind of interesting. And I'll post a discussion uh, a little later. I haven't posted it yet, but I'll post it um, maybe later on Friday afternoon. Okay, otherwise I hope you're doing well and taking good care, and I hope, uh, hope you're finding joy in reading this text. Uh, I, I'm sure it's maybe a little bit frustrating at times, but um, I hope the class kick is working for you, and the discussion format is working okay, uh, and I look forward to hearing more from you all soon. Au revoir.